Hello everyone and welcome to my next video for the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia, where I'm going to go back to the Cycle of Battle Chaos quest in Garland's character event, and this time I'm going to clear it with a team that I would like to say has no EX pluses, but I do actually have uh, I do actually have Wall's EX realised, although it's got zero ingots in it. I'm going to bring the team of Wall, Shalotta and Ramza with a Garland friend support and Ramu as a summon. So I'm bringing along Ramu here because this is a much more battery based team composition than I did previously uh, because we don't have the big heavy hitter in the form of Cloud, um, we're going to mostly be relying on battery for all of the damage, although Wall's damage to be honest is pretty decent on Throw Buckler when the fight starts, it's just that when the, uh, the defense starts getting super thick you can't really do much to push through it without uh, gratuitous amounts of battery. So of course Ramu is going to be better for the max brave space there. Um, I do have Shalotta's uh, armor realized as well because it actually gives her a max brave and attack boost. So I think I think 9774 that's the most amount of max brave you can get out of Shalotta at the moment because I've got triple 330s and uh, full summon boards and uh, realized armor as well. So that, so that really helps. Um, I, I'm going to say that a Shalotta friend is actually the most optimal on this stage in my opinion, at the very least with this team composition, but I wanted to do a little bit of something different and I saw this purple garland just chilling in my friends list and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try and make it work, why the hell not, it's his own event, he should at least get a little bit of spotlight, I'm not going to be blowing ingots on him myself, but I'm going to tell you now, if this was the EX era and we didn't have to be conscious about how many ingots we've got, I would totally pull for garland, the guy's an absolute badass, he's really cool, I like him. Um, so anyway, with uh, my walls artifacts are still pretty much as they were. Um, I'm honestly not entirely sure what to do about wall. Um, I am farming the uh, the co-op at the moment with like double books, uh, trying to get the artifact, uh, you know, whatever artifacts I can. If I, I'm going to try and aim for some more 108 330s on him, because if I get triple 108 330s, I might consider taking him to two out of three. In the future, like not now, but I might consider it. I don't know how bad of an idea it is, but he is a really strong character, and it would be nice to kind of have him at his best, you know. Uh, but for now, you know, the, the the artifacts I've got are working well enough. You know, they're what I'm going to run with. Uh, Shalotta, yeah, pretty much as as they are. I'm not going to bother getting triple 108s for her because she she does benefit from attack, just not she's not a primary brave shaver though, so I don't really think it's worth it. To, uh, to bother. And Ramza, yeah, my, my Ramza again, it's pretty much the same. Man, I have to say, I dodge is such a blessing. I mean, artifact farming is still hell, but they're definitely a blessing in terms of uh, in terms of getting there. So this Garland is not like the greatest Garland in the world, but to be honest, they're quite rare on my friends list for, you know, understandably so. Um, so that's, that's pretty much the team that I'm going to be running with. Now, I know it's not the most original team composition because I literally just swapped uh, freaking Cloud for Shalotta. And uh, yeah, I, there are some really interesting comps floating around for this one, especially if you bring Shalotta and you bring a Vincent friend um, and you bring Cloud 3 out of 3, you can paralyze the boss. And then that basically lets you do more or less whatever you want. There's a, there's a, a YouTuber I watch quite often by the name of Soul DFFO. Um, he's a great guy, you know, really chill. In fact, I probably wouldn't be making videos if it wasn't for him to be honest and a good portion of people watching my videos probably came from his in the first place and he managed to clear it with lightning uh, by paralyzing the boss and using lightning's uh, turn delays it was it was a real joy to watch I'll, I'll link the video in the description actually if on the off chance that there's anybody who hasn't seen it but it was it was really impressive I have to say good jo good job on you man um, but yeah this is who I'm gonna be using I'm really not sure about the garland uh, because generally speaking I want to swap my friend units out for Ramza because Ramza has the I'm gonna be spamming shout to get up to uh, three stacks of shout with him because we need the free turns as soon as we can get it but Garland without Ramza means that he's not gonna have the huge ass attack buffs that Ramza gives to everyone which means that using him later on in the fight would be a bit stupid because you're not gonna do much brave damage so I think what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna bring in the Garland friend uh, and I'm gonna not summon uh, I'm going to save the summon for later in the fight, but I'm going to bring in the friend and just do as much like bravery damage as we can. Uh, so, that, uh, that being said, with no further ado, let's jump into it and see how well we do. So I have to say, I'm really enjoying the difficulty of Chaos at the moment. I think the amount of challenge is really good. Uh, but what I'm not enjoying, oh, I'm going to have to take a break here, look at this. This is this is a really bad uh, start. Never mind. I'm really enjoying the difficulty, but the one thing that I'm not enjoying is how 
restricted you are in terms of kind of what what optimal what viable team compositions you can bring like you know we all knew this was coming we have the foresight from the jp version i feel sorry for the players in the japanese um version of the game without the foresight that we have in global but like you know the difficulty is fine but there's so few characters that can perform at this level right now i know that it will get better as as time goes on but right now you really feel the crunch you know there's there's really minimal number of characters that can be used And yeah, you can get creative. You can use some sort of unexpected combinations. Um, but chances are you're probably going to have some of the same ones everyone's using. Regardless. Let's go to three stacks of Shout and Ramza here. Yeah, we'll take this one out with uh, Shalata, and of course Wall will be able to take out C over here. So as you can see, one of the things I really like about parties like this is that everyone's buffs stacks with everyone else. That's how we, you know, we've got Remu and we've got everyone's max bravery buff, so we're sitting at a very nice amount of max bravery for everyone, especially Wall because of Synergy. And incidentally, that is part of the reason that I want to go for Agrius. I mean, the other part of it is because she's really good and I'm a, you know, I'm a massive tactics fan. It's one of my favourite Final Fantasy games. Um, but even even just in terms of meta viability, Agrius kind of does everything. She does damage, she does like uh, battery, she does healing, and she also has some small auras as well. So she kind of functions in a similar way that Beatrix did uh, when, when Beatrix was first released for us. She was like the only attacker that we had that um, also had attack, uh, like unique attack and uh, max bravery buffs also built into her kit. So that's really nice. And she, uh, Agris actually gets, um, as part of her rework and the EX+, Plus, she actually gets a framed buff on her EX+, Plus that gives her an attack aura as well, because before she only had, like, initial bravery and max bravery, I think. So, she's one I'm really looking forward to. I mean, obviously I'm looking forward to Ultimecia as well, I mean, who isn't at this point? But, Agris is going to be cool to play with. I was mindful of Charlotte's buff durations. If I didn't use the X there, then uh, like the crystal would have gone down to like one uh, one turn duration. So if I have to use EX and then light the crystal, you kind of screen yourself out of one turn of the EX. You want as little downtime on your EX uh, buff as possible. How's everyone's shields doing? Well, they're not really doing, are they? Let's let's get the shields back up. I should have used shining wave right there. Never mind. take a little longer to get to the boss than we did if we had Cloud, but it's all good, it'll work out in the end, because we'll do more damage as the uh, as the boss's HP gets lower, because we don't rely on the bravery damage that much. I'm actually going to hold on to my Shining Wave. Because yeah, because one we don't need it, and <laughs> because two we're gonna need it for the uh, for the boss. So we've recently got a galvanize up on everyone. I'm just gonna swap out Ramza for uh, for Garland, and we're just gonna go ham, and hope and hope we don't get paralyzed. Except I'm not gonna swap him out right now because if I do that, then Garland's gonna get. Um... Actually, is he gonna get broken? I don't think he is. Because Garland's EX gives him like the turn delay, so we'll actually push the boss back for two turns. So I actually think I actually think it's more important to get the debuff going with uh, with Innovate. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> So Shalotta has one turn left, and if we use like the crystal, we're not going to get there in time. So I'm just going to hold this stuff. 
Please don't get paralyzed. Hey! No paralysis. That's what we want to see. I, that's one thing I absolutely hate about this fight is that is the RNG paralysis. Okay, so if I use Shining Wave here... Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Throw Buckler. So I can get the turn rate on Walt. And then I'm going to Shining Shield because... Actually, no, I'm not going to use Shining Shield. Because... Um, no, I definitely am. We... Let's see. Let, let me see. Let me see everyone's shields. We'll only delay the boss for one turn, and Garland's not gonna go. Yeah, okay. Let's 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 play it safe. Let's use our shining shield. Definitely need to shout here. I don't like this turn rate at all. This double turns. See, so, there we go. That's more like it. So I'm actually going to use Light the Pistol again. This may be a, a, a silly thing to do, but I want to get the EX buff up for when Garland comes in. Yeah. So that's going to do nothing. And yeah, let's uh, let's hop in Garland. So I'm going to start off with an EX because we will get to use one more EX before he leaves. Man, just look at that. That is that is a thing of beauty. That's what that's what that is. So let's see the turn rate. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a buckler again because I think it's best to use the throw bucklers earlier in the fight when you actually get decent brave damage out of it. Okay, so Garland, I'm going to use Round Edge, because that gets him three stacks of Soul of Chaos, which will take him up to the maximum of, of uh, five. Let's get uh, Refresh Shields on everyone. Here it's going to use its HP attack, uh, except it's not because Soul of Chaos, bitch. Okay, so here we refresh EX with the uh, Shalotta. If we delay one more turn with Shalotta, we'll lose our shield, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go for Crystal Generation, because I think it should unbreak next turn anyway. Which it does. That's fine. And because I don't want to risk it, I'm actually going to go for Shining Wave, because we do have Shalotta's heals here. Um, actually, you know what? I want to get Garland to get the most battery he can out of his EX and hit as hard as he can. So I'm actually going to blow another throw buckle here. Now, uh, yeah, full damage Garland, let's go. Oh god, oh it's beautiful. <laughs> Man, yeah, that is, that is, that is damage. Let's see, what do I do here? See, if I don't do Shining Shield, there's the risk that, like, nah, I'll do it. I'll do HP plus plus. We need to save some shields for later. Yes. 
yeah, there was the risk of, of people being paralysed, which I, I kind of knew about. But thankfully the taunt is still on him, so... Well, that, that was interesting. Oh, well, that just happened. Oh well, here we go. Debuff's doing. Yeah, we need to we need to refresh any bit on there, I think. Which will do absolutely zero damage. Because we don't have the attack buffs up just yet. So I'm not going to go into summon just yet. If I'm going to go into summon at all, I'm going to do it like the next time we come out of the field. Oh, nice! No, uh, no paralysis again. That's uh, that's good for us. Yeah, I'm gonna throw my card again. That's my last one. Sure, I'll take a launch. Probably should have summoned there, to be fair. Like, could have got a pretty good launch off that, but it's all good. Here we go with the HP attacks. This is one thing that makes having Shalotta quite a, a good thing to have in this fight. When it gets to uh, this stage, when we start taking more frequent HP attacks, Yeah, I'm gonna try and save my elevate for the uh, for the summon. Oof. Which is gonna be coming up right about now. Not a perfect summon, really, because I should have been able to pop Wall's um, additional ability. But uh, I'll take what I can get.
Okay, I do believe this is it. Maybe not, maybe not. One more attack after this. Okay, how are we doing on the HP requirement? No! We can't, we can't do it yet. <laughs> Everyone's got damaged. I'm literally burning turns here. I miscalculated. Oh well. That's a little bit of inefficiency between friends, eh? We got there in the end. Hey, and we got to show off Garland, so that's something. There we go. That's going to be my uh, that's going to be my cloudless run through at the very least. Um, I hope at least you enjoyed it. Have you got some ideas? I'm really, really trying to hold myself back from pulling for Garland. I'm just going to tell myself eyes on the prize. Ultimicia and Agrius is coming up. Uh, in fact, uh, FEOD's been announced for well, it's not been announced. FEOD's been data mined for uh, Global as well. That's going to be uh, Dimensions End, which I'm which I'm looking forward to. It's releasing the same time as Ultimicia, so I think you can guess who's going to be helping me clear at least one of them to get those uh, glorious, glorious nuggets. Um, so this is going to be my last video for a while actually because I'm actually going away on a business trip next week so I'm not going to be here for the Leviathan farming I will still be farming Leviathan when I get some spare time but like you'll have to wait until uh, you know I'll probably do the chaos video like a week later or something when I get back so uh, thanks everyone for watching I hope you enjoyed and until the next time take care and goodbye